Hi, Ron Kerr, Houston Seismic here, talking about time migration and depth migration and that effect on gathers and its stack. I have other videos talking about this and this kind of wraps it all together. At the top is a time migration procedure. Let's start with an input gather here on the left. If we preset time migrate it, if the velocities are too slow, they tip up at the far offsets. If the velocities are better, it's flat, and if the velocities are too fast, it tips down at far offsets. I'm assuming flat geology, no dip, no anisotropy. So the stack of these events would be roughly the same time. There might be a very slight pull up for these, these blue velocities, just because at the farther offset it tips up, and it might be a slightly down in time for the red because it's slightly faster velocities, but by and large, that flat structure stays relatively flat. In the depth world at the bottom, we start with the same input gather. We go through depth migration, pre stack depth migration. The velocities, the gather tips up at far offsets. If I pick the velocities too slow, the gather stays relatively flat for all offsets for a good velocity, and the far offset tips down if I pick the velocities too fast in depth migration. But look, the near offset has changed. The faster I go, the deeper it gets. The subsequent stack for that is picking velocities slower results in a shallower event. Picking the velocities faster results in a deeper event. As I get progressively closer and closer to the actual true depth, which would be right here, I get better. This is all because depth equals velocity times time. As velocity increases, the depth increases. So having a flat gather and depth migration is great. It does not guarantee that we have the right velocity model, but it's at least one hint that we might be getting close to the right velocity model. If you have any questions or need any consulting help on your seismic processing project, that's what I'm here for. I'm a consultant and would be happy to help you with your project. Send me an email, ron.kerr at houstonseismic.com. Thank you very much.